been privileged to work with some awfully good people, and I think it's fair to say that probably the best on the planet is Ed McMahon. He brings this sort of friendly, soft, um, fatherly, affable, as opposed to this kind of thing. Um, and I mean, Kelly, he's been at it a long time. He told me that he started on the boardwalk in Atlantic City in 1946. Here's Television's original sidekick, Ed McMahon, helped The Tonight Show hit its highest notes playing second fiddle. He just got out of the Marine Corps. I was a Marine fighter pilot in the war. I got out and I looked around for the best way I could make money in the summertime. And the best way I found was pitching gadgets. Uh, and I'd worked my way up. I'd been a bingo announcer. I'd been a carnival barker, barker. I'd sold fountain pens. We didn't really sell fountain pens. We gave them away free. We sold the extra point for a dollar. That was the gimmick. But I'd done that. So now the, the creme de la creme, the top of the heap, the mountain top, the high Sierra, was the pitchman, the gadget pitchman, because you had to learn how to use your hands and talk at the same time. A lot of people can't do that. It was very valuable, by the way, when I got back into television, when I got into television, because I knew how to demonstrate the product. I could use my hands and talk. It was no uh, big problem for me. But anyway, the pitchman was the big thing. That was the high mucky muck. So I stood and watched these guys, how they work, what they did, and then I made my pitch to them to get them to let me make the pitch to everybody else on the boardwalk. So you get into that and I knew I'd make a lot of money. I was making, a, it's embarrassing to say what kind of money I was making. In 1946, 47, 48, 49, I was making $500 a week. Now in those days, that was a lot of money. My rent was $93. You could buy a car for $500. I mean, it was a tremendous amount of, you know, uh, bread was a nickel, uh, milk was seven cents. I mean, so $500 was an awful lot of money. In the fairgrounds, we made $1,000 a week. So I could make enough money in the summer to pay my tuition, go to school and support my wife and child. I still worked during the winter, but I got that hunk every summer. I got those three months of that heavy money. It was great. It is bigger than life. But there is showbiz to it. There is goofiness to it. There is entertainment to it. My stage is here, right in front of me, and this is my audience. Instead of them going like this, clapping that I'm a great entertainer, they're saying, here's my money, here's my money. And the more times that they say, here's my money, it's that's my applause. That tells me, you did a great acting job. You did a good job. People enjoy it. They love the watch Pitchman. You get a good pitchman up there, he'll get a crowd in front of him that quick because they love to watch people do something. It, it is selling in the raw. It is, it, it's fascinating. It's a fascinating business.